Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to 5G Gaming Guru Guide. Uh, this is Daniel. On um, this video, I'm going to make a break from the quest series that I've been doing. Uh, this will be my first um, uh, player versus monster um, fighting beast video. Uh, if you go into the uh, same place you're going to, to look up the quest. Alright, so the, 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 that's the quest list, and then here's the beast. Uh, and you look up Corporeal Beast, uh, and then you'll, uh, you'll get some information um, in here about uh, you know, the tactics and stuff that you need to, uh, to do this boss. Uh, first things first, I want to show you uh, here, this is the Drainer Lodestone, uh, indicated by AD, uh, Drainer. All right, and then this is uh, you know, and here where I am in uh, Grand Lotus. Uh, this is uh, is a transportation um, icon. Uh, this one takes you to Death's office and to Wars Retreat. I'm gonna go on to Wars Retreat. All right, and then uh, so then you can you can talk to War for different different options. Shop. Uh, and then, based on number of bosses, and uh, you got marks of war, and you can have. Um, uh, so, if you kill ten bosses, you get a uh, teleport to the hub. That's what I have here. Uh, level uh, 100 boss kills, you get a, a portal. Uh, you know, and you get for different uh, things. Uh, you, you can do upgrades and unlocks. And, you know, and then uh, after you have everything unlocked, you have some consumable. You can uh, you can buy stuff. Uh, I'm gonna uh, show you. Another thing also, uh, you have four portals in here. This one is the latest back at the boss at this time is Karapak. Uh, this one is the Reaper portal. If you do tasks for death, uh, it's like a Slayer task. And then uh, this one takes you to that task. And then these two, I have, uh, on, on this account, I have um, Queen Black Dragon and Vindicta set. But I, you can right click on it and return. And uh, I'm going to show you the corporeal beast. So I'm going to return it to corporeal beast, and then uh, if I run through there, I end up in this cave. And I have a friend here, uh, uh, Ghost. He's going to join me for uh, this instance. Uh, so. Yeah, there's another uh, option. Uh, you know, if you don't have that one unlocked yet, yet uh, you can rub the game's necklace and uh, then go to Corporeal Beast. Uh, all right, and this one actually takes you to the entrance of the cave. Uh, and you remember this from the Summer's End quest where uh, we had a little bit of a hard time with trying to, uh, uh, trying to show them the, uh, the, the, the set up the fires and stuff and bury the cores. And, uh, you know, but anyways, that's done. So you know, here I am. Uh, so uh, we're, you know, that, that, that quest is done. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to set up an instance. Uh, and uh, right, so as you can see, this uh, this um, is the corporeal beast. This is level seven eighty five. Right, so I'm going with my higher account, so I, I can do a better video for you. I have uh, masteric armor and a masteric spear of annihilation, and uh, in essence of finality or amulet and a ring of death. Uh, and I also have some armor specs, and on this account I have a completionist at this time. Uh, so I have a lot of very high level gear. Uh, uh, very, uh, the, my clanmate here has um, also mastered it, but, uh, and uh, spikes, but they're wearing, uh, using a Lenin Kia spear. So it definitely will work with less than what I'm wearing. Uh, all right, so if I go to investigate the passage, uh, I can do uninstance, instance, or peek in. So if I do in, uninstance, I join the same one that everybody else joins. If I do uh, instance, however, 
I can go in here and I can uh, say I can set how many players I want to join my in my uh, this uh, separate uh, occurrence, uh, separate instance, uh, the minimum combat level. So I, I have set the fifteen players, which well, there's only two of us here. Uh, one, uh, and then minimum one uh, level one combat, uh, but you, you know you can change this to what you want, fastest speed. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. And then I'm gonna. Uh, I have an, what's called an or overload, uh, so that um, you know, like it gives a boost to all my skills. Uh, and then, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, uh, do one kill here. Uh, uh, here's uh, my other that's joining us, and here is what a kill of the corporeal beast looks like. Uh, and you you will definitely want a spear for this kill. Uh, you'll also want to look up some uh, some uh, action bars uh, so that you can um, kill the uh, optimize your kills on the corporeal base. That's one kill. Uh, Congrats. All right, and I from this from this kill I got seventy raw shark. Uh, you can also get uh, various uh, spirits uh, signals, uh, like what uh, we got from the uh, the end of uh, spirit uh, summer's end. And there's other signals that are um, better. Um, and again, I, I'm ho I hope that uh, ever, uh, uh, those that are watching this video will, uh, those who have to have a lot of kills on the corporeal beast, will share their uh, strategies. Uh, you know that we can help people improve. Uh, not just in quest, but on their uh, their uh, passing also. So, uh, so this is the second kill. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do one more, and then uh, I will end this video. It was just meant to be a short intro. One more. Thing. Uh, so as I said, it's just meant to be a short intro. Uh, at some future point, we will do a full, um, a full video on this and uh, share strategies and such like that. Uh, this is just, uh, as I said, an intro. Uh, ideally, at some point, you'll want to try for a uh, uh, hundred of every boss. Uh, is what, um, uh, what the achievements, uh, 100 of every boss will get you all the achievements, and, and then obviously more for uh, uh, Slayer tasks, um, Reaper tasks rather, uh, and uh, uh, and war points as not, uh, points for the war. Uh, I just showed you at the beginning of this video, and then uh, so even with all this gear, you can see it does a lot of damage to me. So there's. Uh, there's, um, uh, you know, so you need to have the, the, the setup correctly, but um, I'm going to teleport out towards retreat. I have that on my action bar to get out quickly. Uh, so again, uh, I'll turn that off. If you go into shop war, after you have 10 boss calls, and unlock the uh, uh, hub teleport. Uh, and then uh, you can go into your uh, let's see your um, ma magic book uh, here, uh, and then go to the teleports, and then this one's worth retreat, and then you can actually click and hold and drag that to your uh, uh, action bar, uh, and assign it a letter. In this case, I use P. So every time I hit P on the keyboard. And then I, I automatically port here. 
Uh, and that makes it convenient to get out of uh, get out of a fight quickly and get back to here. And then then you can go on and check your 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 uh, number of bicycles and mask war. And, and if you want to try something else, you can set a portal and, and so on and so forth. So um, I hope that you found this introduction to the corporate will be as helpful. Um, we will be uh, at some point uh, when we get uh, ahead on the uh, uh, quests and mini quests. Uh, plan on doing some more about. Um, Passing videos. Uh, this was meant as an intro to follow the summer end quest. So uh, take care, everyone. Uh, please remember to drop a like. Uh, leave plenty of comments on strategies. Share, subscribe, put the notification bell. And if you're finding these helpful, we would really appreciate any super things. Um, uh, thank you. Uh, see you in the next video.